was doing a consult recently, a paid coaching session for someone who's getting ready to buy a couple of Teslas actually. One of the questions that came up was how much should I charge my battery? How often should I charge it? And how far should I charge it? I gave him all the information that he was looking for, but I realized very quickly after doing some research, there is a lot of misinformation out there. Like, I mean a lot. Elon Musk himself, CEO of Tesla, has said some stuff that has conflicted over time. Here is all the research that I did on batteries and how to maintain them in a healthy way. And I'm gonna present this in a way that kind of gives you an example of where you should be charging your battery based on how much driving you do. I'm gonna work to earn your like and subscribe by the end of this video, so check in with me at the end to see if I did. And if you or someone you know is looking at buying a Tesla, please send me an email or go to my website down below, Electric Auto Squad, and I would love to chat with you. Okay, picture these two scenarios, all right? Number one, you just woke up, you only got two hours of sleep last night, and maybe you went out drinking a little bit, you're a little bit hungover, and you are just exhausted probably not a very pretty picture, probably not someone you're going to be very fun to be around in the moment. And that's scenario one. Think about another scenario where the opposite is true, where you just took three shots of espresso and you drank a five hour energy because you're about to pull an all nighter and you are jittery. You can't sit still because everything is shaking. You have so much energy in your system. Think of that as 0% charge and 100% charge. And that's exactly how a Tesla battery feels. Now, if you're at 0% charge, the battery is in a stressed state. And the same thing is if it's at 100% charge. The design of an electrochemical cell system, which is exactly what an electric vehicle has, is the closer to 50% the battery is, the happier it is, closer to equilibrium. The idea of equilibrium is where the battery is right in the middle of the potential of where it could be, and that's where it's most at rest, is how you refer it. If you stray from 50%, the amount of stress is very, very small until you start to get to either extreme, closer to 90% or 10%, or in this case, 100% and 0%. So even being at 90% and 10%, there is still a little bit of stress in the battery, not nearly as much as 100% or 0%, but it's ideal to keep your batteries charged between 80% and 20%. Now, please keep in mind, we're talking about ideals here. If you need to use that extra range, please use your car. Don't be scared to drive below 20%. I have done it many times, but just be aware that owning your car over a long period of time, your battery will last longer if you're being mindful of trying not to go below 20% if you don't need to. Okay, now let me transition and talk about a few different scenarios. I'm gonna bring up three different examples of what kind of driving habits someone has and where they should charge their car to. Do me a favor and comment below which of these three scenarios you are and then let me know what you're planning on charging your car to. Scenario number one, the person who doesn't drive a lot. Ever since the current pandemic started, things have been very different for a lot of people, especially in terms of how much they drive. So if you're honestly not driving that frequently, you probably don't need to charge your car over 60%. The reason for this is the longer the car is sitting plugged in and the closer to 50% the car sits at, the healthier it's going to be long-term. So if your car is sitting at 60%, your car is basically at rest, at, at almost at perfect rest, where it's not stressing the battery at all and it's kind of just hanging out until you're ready to drive next. 60% of a Tesla battery is still plenty of range. And if you're thinking about an impulse trip, then 60% will probably get you to the grocery store or out to a restaurant or wherever you need to go. And if you know that you're going to be going somewhere else that requires extra range, you can go onto your Tesla phone app and you can increase that range and you can have the car charge up a little bit more. And that's a very easy thing to do. And that's how a lot of people who don't drive a lot handle their electric vehicles right now. They'll adjust how far the battery is charged for what their daily usage is as it comes up. Scenario number two. This is someone who does a decent amount of driving, maybe a commute of 20 to 30 minutes per day or less, but someone who's used to needing a little bit more range out of their car. If you're that kind of person, then you might consider charging your car up to 70 or 80%. And the reason for this is if you're using, let's say 50% worth of your battery every day, which is a lot of driving, then use it, use your car. 
going from 80% down to 30% is not going to stress out your battery that much. And over the course of the next 10 or 20 years, your car's battery will last a lot better than someone who just charges up to 100% every single day and doesn't really have any care in mind about their battery's health. So if you do a decent amount of driving, then charge it only about to 80%. And of course, if you know you're gonna go for a longer drive the next day, charge it up further, but try to limit how much you do that. Scenario number three, checking in real fast, have I earned your like and subscribe yet? Please do so, it really helps the channel and I would be stoked to see more subscribers here, so thank you. Scenario three is someone who uses just about their full battery every day. This is a lot of driving. Most Teslas will get at least 220 miles on a full charge. Most of them these days will get more. But if you're driving 200 miles in a day, then that's a very unique situation, but you're probably going to need to charge your car to 100% every day. And that's not the end of the world. Please understand that batteries, even though they will degrade over time, and even though it's really good to be healthy with them, if you need to use that, use it. And that's one of the tweets that Elon made about this specifically, especially with the shorter range Model 3s. If you need to use your full battery, use your full battery. You will start experiencing some degradation over time, but it's not going to ruin your ownership experience. Be aware that if you need to charge to 100%, don't lose sleep over it, it's okay. Of course, during the days when you're not using that charge and you don't need to be putting up to 100%, let it sit at 50% for a little bit and let it breathe. And on your days off, if you have a weekend or something and you're not doing a lot of driving, or you know that you're only doing one 15 minute trip, let the car down to 60% or something so that it's gonna be a little healthier in the long run. So what scenario do you fit into? How much driving are you doing right now? Let me know in the comments below if you already own a Tesla, what you're charging to now, and if this video has changed your thoughts on what you should charge to. And if you don't own one yet, then let me know based on these three scenarios, which you'll probably charge your car to once you get one. Check out my latest video up here and let me know your thoughts below if you have an idea for a video. Stay safe out there.